Hey y'all, I'm Tim. And I'm Matt. And just like Tim, we have a fancy Japanese maple for you in the landscape and garden today. Today we're going to be talking about Acer Palmatum Dissectum Filigree. Also known as Green Filigree, also known as Suse. Also known as Comet. You translate Suse. <laughs> yeah, if you translate Suse. This is an excellent, very dwarf Japanese maple. The key thing I want to make sure and reiterate, start from the beginning, gives this tree protection from the hot afternoon sun. It's a variegated lace leaf that has reticulated variegation with just amazing speckling. This was probably the first of the lace leaves that are reticulated that really got onto the market. You know, if you can give filigree some late day shade like Tim was saying, you're almost going to get some of those ghost series style variegation. You know, this one has some displays in it that are reminiscent of grandma ghost or sister ghost, some of that light white flecking in every single leaf. Late day shade will give you your premium color on that one. It's a smaller overall grower too, so it's excellent for that patio or landscape container. We're here in a perfectly sided spot. It's got good drainage and excellent shade to show off what Acer Palmatum Dissectum filigree can really achieve. Not to be confused with red filigree lace, this is the green. But like Matt said, it's basically sister ghost meets a lace leaf. And boom, we've got an amazing plant that just has some white flecking in the leaves themselves, a unique specimen. But this is a really small plant. This is a plant that's gonna get three to four feet in height, a little bit wider than that, maybe five to six foot in width in 10 years. Really slow grower, but if you give this tree good drainage and plenty of shade, this plant just puts on some amazing colors. That's really special, but the leaf itself too is a little fancier as well. Right. I mean, that's where it gets the name filigree is just, mm how intricately cut each of these leaves are on this lace leaf. Yeah, I joke about this tree being fancy, but it definitely has that kind of appearance. Like each leaf has some of the most ruffled edges of any lace leaf. That paired with that variegation gives it a very unique look in the landscape. I love this one, like you heard me say earlier, in the container garden, because you can bring it up on that patio where it's getting a little heavier shade. Now be conscious when you're bringing your tree onto a patio, if it's in an area that doesn't get any natural water, you're gonna wanna water more carefully. And as always, don't put a tray under your Japanese maples. Those trays of doom set you up for failure, so you don't want a, a tray under a patio container holding water. I see it more frequently, probably one of the most common mistakes we see in container gardening. So I always like to reiterate that. Make sure you have excellent drainage and nothing stopping your drainage from draining all the way through. Filigree is an awesome small tree, though, for so many uses. It's definitely going to stay a lot smaller than some of its other green counterparts like waterfall or veritas. Those are going to you know, massively outsize this one in the same time frame. We list this one as three to four feet tall by three to four feet wide, even in 10 years. So definitely a smaller overall specimen of a green lace leaf. Makes an excellent pairing with red filigree. You know, red filigree lace looks awesome next to this. It's not going to have the variegation, but this one could almost go into its own category now as being a lace leaf with reticulate style variegation. We're doing Sweet Lorraine, which is a variegated pink and also Earth Mound, which may be a little bit more Matt Murray style leaf, but it kind of fits into that category too, which is a variegated low growing red. And those three are kind of in a category all on their own. I haven't seen many other plants. Mini lace. Yeah, mini lace too. That kind of incorporates that variegated look in a much smaller compact habit of a lace leaf. Now with the, these small growing, extremely dwarf Japanese maples, make sure if you're putting these out in the landscape or if you're putting these in containers, you're not using something to plant underneath it that gives competition with the roots. These are slow growing trees. That means they're not gonna have a very aggressive root system. And if you plant something with, gives root competition to the roots, it's gonna make this plant grow slower or make it struggle in competition for water and nutrients. So always keep that in mind. The slow growing ones, you need to be extra careful on not giving plants that can uh, provide competition for the roots on these Japanese maples. But filigree, this is one of our favorites. It was one yeah. of dad's first 50. Yeah, dad and offered this one a lot back in the day. Uh, we, we started out at the tailgate market selling Japanese maples. Now you've probably heard of us, you know, selling all over the United States mail order, but dad started out here at the local tailgates. And this was definitely a classic OG Mr. Maple plant of dad's. He loved this one, he offered it all the time. And this is definitely a collector plant that it doesn't stay on the website long. Mm -hmm. So when you see this, Make sure to check out with it and get it as quickly as you can because this one doesn't last long on Mr. Maple. Um, if it's sold out when you're watching this video, go to mrmaple.com, type in filigree in the search bar, mm -hmm. pull this tree up and you can type in your email to be notified when this tree becomes available again. 
Make sure you sign up for our weekly emails on mrmaple.com because mm -hmm. we have a large set. They go out through our weekly emails. And like I said, these fly out fast. So don't wait on this. This is an amazing plant that I think a lot of people can enjoy in their garden. It's, it's not a very big plant, so it fits in a lot of small spaces. It's a true dwarf Japanese maple. So this one's going to be very compact in its overall nature. Again, that spring color is going to be quite excellent. If you're giving it more shade, you're going to get more ghost-like variegation. That fades to a light, crisp green midsummer. If you're in heavy shade, you may be carrying a little bit of that white flaking into summer. Fall colors range from yellows to golden yellows. You get a lot of great fall color on this one. I've even caught it a few times on camera where you have that variegated style showing through with that fall color. You know, it's a, it's a photographer's dream with this one. It's one you definitely want to get your cameras out and enjoy. But you know, what I like about this one, probably one of my favorite things besides the variegation is that it is a true dwarf Japanese maple. So, you know, some people buy a true dwarf and then they say it never grew any, but that was kind of the point of the true dwarf, right? You got a dwarf Japanese maple, you wanted it to stay smaller and compact. And so this one's going to fit that smaller landscape very well. We're standing here and we are here in early May. And this specimen here is about a 15 year old specimen, about a, right around 12 to 15 years old. Yeah. So you see, true dwarf amazing habit just cascades and umbrellas like an umbrella and with that reticulated variegation plant this somewhere up close near a walkway so you can really enjoy the intricacies of the leaf not only the leaf shape but also that white flecking variegation that just adds something special in a more shaded landscape and garden we hope you enjoyed this look at a specimen size acer palmatum filigree or green filigree uh, or Suse or Comet. You might see it under all those different names. The correct name being Acer Palmatum Filigree. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and share this video with your gardening friends. If you've got a friend who loves Japanese maples, make sure to tell them about the Mr. Maple Show on YouTube. They'll definitely enjoy it if you're enjoying it as well. Hey, thanks so much for watching. God bless. And have a great day.